This drive from Penno secured a brilliant victory for France against Australia in a really tight battle, but let's dive into the details how they got to that stage. So the Wallabies had just extended their lead with a penalty and it was all about having a great exit play to put the pressure back on France. But it's the little moments what have big consequences. I'm just going to highlight Dupont here. He's the one who's putting maximum pressure on the kick. And notice how he stays on the kicker's left side. So he forces him to kick to the centre field. This is really important because it opens up both sides of the field for France to attack, therefore making it a bit harder to defend. And there's another little bit of detail from Dupont. Look how he stays in the backfield, showing great anticipation that the ball might get there eventually. So I've just highlighted him here. He's staying in that position. He's hopeful for a line break. He's positive and it's exactly what happens from Gianni Bear. And bang, look, he's right there, ready to get that attack fizzing. But before we dive into the score, let's look at the details what led to that in beforehand. So in the first half, we're going to see some shape. We're going to see off nine, they've got a big, strong, hard runner. And it's all about winning the gain line and carrying. And then off the second phase, it's also off nine. And they've got this three-pod setup with a forward at the front, two to his left and right, and the playmaker out back. And I'm just going to flip through a few examples here of where they do this throughout the game, just so you have an idea of how France are trying to play. So once again, you can see a hard runner off nine. It's all about being direct, winning the gain line. You're going to see off nine once again. You've got the three forwards, playmaker out the back. And so far in these examples, it's all about being hitting and direct. Whereas when we move to the second half, it's the same initial tackle. And then it goes to that pod. But this time there's a little bit of variation. They use the player on that tip line. And Australia read that really well. But you can see France were trying to change that shape up a little bit. Now there's, here's our fourth example of a carry in and close to the ruck. And now this time for the first time he actually pulled the ball out the back to the playmaker. Again really well read by Australia. Gianni Baird does get the ball away. But this brings us now to the try. With that shape in mind you're going to see that forward carry in and around that ruck. Once again, they're going to be playing off nine in exactly the same shape. Uh, this time, they pull the ball back to Janibert, who spots that the Wallabies defense are defending narrow, and that gets the ball to Pinot. Pinot's still got a lot to do. So he's reading the defender, and he notices the defender's momentum is going all towards the touchline. And if we just turn it around from that pullback play, you'll see a bit of detail in Peno's work here. Look how he keeps the momentum of the defender going towards the touchline with his running line. He steps right before stepping left. This is a lovely bit of detail to keep the defender going to the direction he wants to go. And then he steps back in. It's a beautiful fend on his left side just to keep that defender at bay. And at pace, this is just a wonderful try that rounded off a great team effort and a wonderful victory for France.